the formidable robot. Alphabet Dave was the name of a user on the Creepypasta Wiki. He was active between 2012 to 2014, and in that time, he would write four stories. Those stories were as follows. River underscore wiles dot exe. A Sonic dot exe ripoff that just head to the moon characters instead of Sonic characters. The story plays out like one of those cliche exe stories, with Eva Rosaline, Neil Watts, and Johnny Wells all getting killed off in weird ways by an evil version of River Wells. At least it plays out like a cliche exe story, until the ending where the mug walks into the protagonist's room, only to find him dead. The ending reads as follows. James's mother walked into his room after he wasn't responsive to her knocks on his door or her calling him downstairs for dinner, which was very much like him. She gently opened his door, only to find him hanging by a noose. At first she thought it was a suicide, only to find a note on his desk that read, Ready to join me on the moon? RW. She called the cops, but they couldn't find any evidence it was a murder. He demands a sacrifice. A story about a cult that worships Slender Man, and sacrifices homeless people and prostitutes to the creature to appease him. There is a scene in which the main character stumbles upon the body of a prostitute that was killed by the cult. Here's an excerpt from the story. As I was running from those crazy cult members who wished to kill me for intruding on their little ritual, I looked to my left, and saw a body. A woman wearing nothing but a green bikini top and booty shorts, her head removed, and satanic symbols carved into her body. I nearly vomited, but I managed to keep the bile down long enough to run. How to make snuff films. A rather edgy story from the point of view of a serial killer who decides to teach other serial killers how to make snuff films. There is a scene in which he describes his first killing, which reads as follows. I remember my first participant. He kicked and screamed and cried, but all of that stopped once the drill entered his temple. Stu Suicide. A Squidward's suicide ripoff, this time involving Stu from Rugrats. There was a scene where a dead body was briefly shown on screen. I won't describe it here, as it's rather graphic and involves a child, but if you know what a blood eagle is, then you can probably get a good idea on what was described. Sometime after his last story was posted, people on the internet discovered that all of the people who died in his stories closely matched the descriptions of people who actually died. James Dotwood, aged 14. Found hanging by a noose with the only thing resembling a note being the lyrics to Everything is Alright from To the Moon. His death was believed to be a suicide at the time. Amanda Green, aged 25. A prostitute found dead in a ditch with her head removed and occult symbols carved into her body. Her head was later found in a dumpster behind a burger thing. Drew Darwin, aged 42. His body washed up on the side of a lake, thought to have drowned only for authorities to later discover that his left temple was drilled into. The name and age of the person whose death mirrored the description of Stu's suicide was withheld by the police. The only information that they'd willingly give out is that a miner was found dead in a very similar manner to a blood eagle. People initially thought that he was an edgelord using real deaths to make his stories edgier, so he got ridiculed and mocked online for some time. His stories got deleted, and all the narrators who read his stories deleted their narrations, requested takedowns of archived narrations of his stories, and deny ever having read his stories to this very day. People stopped ridiculing him and became very scared and concerned when a Twitter post started making its rounds online from user Insectophobia, who claimed to be an IRL friend of Alphabet Dave. Some of you might remember the creepypasta offer Alphabet Dave. Well, I was a close IRL friend of his until he was arrested for murder. All of the descriptions of killings across his stories matched the descriptions of how he left his victims. A week later, it was confirmed that a man, named Dave Newman, had murdered four people. One was once thought to have committed suicide until new evidence came out. It's unknown what the evidence was, as police were hush-hush about the case, but one thing's for certain. It's probably a good thing that Alphabet Dave isn't writing any more stories, 